Hey there, I'm your host Lesoe, and in today's video we'll be creating an idle camera. And with that said, let's begin. Let's start by creating an input action so we can trigger this idle state. So we'll go to our content drawer and over here we want to go to our inputs, actions and let's create a new input action. And I'll call mine IA underscore check idle. So go ahead and save that and we'll go back a folder to our IMC underscore default. In here, we want to add a new mapping for our check idle and essentially add whatever keys you want. Now, a very handy one is if you go to your keyboard, we have any key. And if any key is pressed, we'll be checking are we idle or are we not? Now, unfortunately, we don't have the same option for our mouse. So we'll do mouse XY to the axis. We'll do mouse wheel axis and we can do our left, right and our middle mouse. So let's do left, let's do right and we'll do middle mouse. So essentially add whatever keys you want. Then save, exit and we'll go to our third person character. So let's open this up. And inside of here, we want to call this input action we just made. And we are interested in started and completed. So go ahead and make a new variable is moving and on started this would be true and on completed this will be false just like so now if we are moving we also want to check are we idle or not so i'll explain in a second is idle and the reason for this is if we are not moving we want to check are we really idle because we'll have an event dispatcher that we'll call to check or to reset the camera and we don't want to be calling this every time we're, we've stopped moving, but we're not actually fully idle. So that's that. So let's go ahead and create our event dispatcher on active. And we'll simply call it here. And once we did, let's just do a print string to check this print string. And we'll just say hello. Now on false, we'll do a set timer by event. And this event will be how long you want the, or how long you want it to be until the idle camera triggers. So for the purpose of the video, I'll do five seconds, but of course have something longer than that. And then we'll do a custom event, do should idle. And in should idle, we'll do another branch. And we will just check, are we moving or not? So get moving not boolean so if we're not moving and this is true well then we'll go ahead and do our event so let's create it custom event and we'll do um begin idle or begin idle camera sounds better and with that we'll plug this into true and let's go ahead and design the logic for this first of all we'll set is idle to be true because yes we've become idle and then we'll have a second set timer by event now this timer you want to be looping and this value you can play around with but i found a value of 0 0.01 to be very nice and the value you preferably want to change is this set rotation so let's do get controller get player controller we'll do uh, set rotation from this blue pin and we'll do get control rotation and the value we are interested in changing will be the z value so you can go ahead connect x to x y to y and for z we'll do a plus value and this value can be whatever you want i found a value of 5 to work or 0.5 to work quite well from here, we'll do a custom event, calling it update idle camera. Log that into here. And just like that, we've almost finished with our idle camera. Then we want to also do a bind on this dispatcher. So we'll bind to it. And we'll have a custom event calling reset idle. And from this blue pin on the set timer, we'll do pause and we'll do pause timer by handle. Just connect that into here. Make that a little bit nicer. And at the very end, we'll do set idle to be false again. 
And just like that, we have our idle camera set up. So let's go ahead and test this, compile, save. And if we play and walk a bit and then stop moving for five seconds, we should begin to idle. So let's see how this goes. And it's idling. And then if I start moving again, we should get the hello. And we do. And if I stop moving and start moving, we don't get the hello. So it's not printing or it's not calling the event dispatcher every time we stop moving. All right. So with that said, I hope you enjoyed. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. And as always, happy developing.